Okay, very simple. You either know the rules and make 100 or you don't know the rules and bomb. All right, they're just rules. We're adding and subtracting. First answer, negative 3y plus 4. All right, you're combining 4y and negative 7y, combining 5 and 1. Now, some people make a mistake because we've been multiplying. They just accidentally multiply them together. Don't do that. All right, I've seen people just do crazy things on the test because they think it's multiplication. This sign tells you what operation it is. All right. Now, again, trying to stay a step ahead of me. Look at number two. My recommendation is change the plus to a or the minus to a plus and then change these signs right here. Now you're combining terms. I have negative x squared, negative 2x squared. So that leaves me negative 3x squared. And then I'm combining 3x and negative 5x, which is negative 2x. Number three, combining terms 2m squared plus 1m squared is. 3m squared. You're not adding exponents when you add. Exponents stay the same. Now we're combining 6m minus 5m, which is a positive 1m. I know it's not necessary to put the one there, but just as a point of emphasis. And then there's nothing for the seven, all right? So we just leave it plus seven. Speak up if you have any uh, troubles or you're having any concerns here. <clears throat> Anybody? All right, again, my advice for this is change the subtraction to addition. Subtraction, addition, subtraction. Combining terms, 5a squared minus 7a squared is negative 2a squared. Now we have 6a plus 7a plus 13a. Then we have positive 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. I just really don't think it's that hard, all right? This is what we did in pre-algebra last year. Just had to combine terms, all right? Over here, again, we're going negative 4p squared plus 1p squared is negative 3p squared. Negative 1 plus 3, positive 2p. And then I have 9 minus 1, thank you, plus 8. Now, again, stop me if there's a doubt. Stop me if there's a doubt. Moving on. What? How is it positive 2p? Negative 1 plus three, negative one P plus three P is two P, right? What? Um, why on some of them would you put P to plus like negative plus negative and why on some of them would you not? I don't know what that means. Like on the one before, um, on the one before you did it like plus and then negative plus negative. Because what is this up here? So, all right, here we go. Again, on number six, Avery, this becomes a positive, negative, negative, positive. Okay. Now I have X cubed minus X cubed is good. They do what? Cancel. 
Now I don't see any square terms. So now I'm going for negative 3x, positive 12x is 9x. Then I'm looking at 1 minus 7, negative 6, right? Okay, here we go. 6x squared plus, uh-oh, see what I did? Automatically, easy to make a mistake if you're not careful. Distributing the negative. Now I'm back. 6x squared minus 2x squared, bless you, is what? 4x squared. Here. Let's keep it there. All right. Then I have negative x plus or minus 8x. That's what? Negative 9x. And then we have. 1 plus 4, positive 5. Everybody good? Addition and subtraction should be easy for us. All right, writing it in standard form. Highest exponent to what? Lowest exponent. The sign in front is the positive or the negative. All right? So the largest exponent here is x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 10x minus 7. Now, I feel like I can go kind of quickly here. Do we agree? All right. So giving you 30 seconds, and then I'm going to move. All right. Try to get them done before I get them done. 20 seconds. Five seconds. All right, number nine, see if you got it. 6x cubed plus 13x squared minus x minus 5. Anybody? Good, 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 good. Next, 2x to the fifth minus 6x cubed plus 4x plus 2. That's called standard form highest exponent to lowest exponent and your constant is always last your constant is always last all right now we're distributing multiplication what do you do to numbers multiply them what do you do to exponents add them come on now multiply numbers add exponents, multiply numbers, add exponents. Twelve X to the fourth minus eighteen X cubed plus thirty X squared. Come on now, only you know if you see what I'm doing. Jackson, we good back there? Come on, man. You got to let me know. All right, you're ahead of me. You're doing the next problem. All right, you have an answer to number 12 already on your paper. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. All right, check. Multiply numbers, add exponents. There's nothing to solve because there's no equal sign. 12x to the seventh minus 15x to the sixth minus 12x squared minus, that's what I said, fifth. Thank you. Minus 3x to the fourth plus. 27x cubed. Look up there. How's that? Good? Look up. We good? Multiply numbers. Add exponents. Multiply numbers. Add exponents. Now, here I have one fourth, which just basically means I am dividing by four. Dividing by four. 
So what's eight divided by four? So we're gonna have negative, negative two m to the third power. Now this number here is a one. Minus one fourth m squared plus seven fourths m. Anybody have any problems with those fractions? Jackson, you still with me? I'm trying to stay a step ahead. All right. Now, two thirds means divide by three, multiply by two. Divide by three, multiply by two. So here we go. Negative times a negative is a positive. Nine divided by three is three. Three times two is six. N to the fourth because we're adding exponents. Positive times a negative is a negative. Three divided by three is one. One times two is two. Two n cubed six divided by three is two two times two is four minus four n squared any questions with that fraction any question with that fraction all right here we go now we're simplifying which means we have to distribute twice and then collect terms all right so here we go 5w times negative 7w, negative 35w squared plus 15w. Distributing now the 2w. So I end up with negative 4w cubed plus 38w squared plus four w yeah i got that thank you all right now it's just a matter of what combining terms we start with the largest exponent the largest exponent looks to me like the cube so that there's only one so we're going to write negative four w cubed now I'm going down to the what? Squares. Negative 35w squared, positive 38w squared gives me positive 3w squared. And then I have 15w plus 4w is 19w. Any concerns? Good job, good job, all right? Double checking, trying to stay a little bit ahead. All right, here we go. Distributing, 6t, 12t squared minus 18t minus 10t squared minus 45t plus 15. What? Which one? This right here? Five doesn't have a T. Five doesn't have a T. All right, so now we're grouping the squares. 12 T squared minus 10 T squared is 2t squared. Negative 18, negative 45, negative 63t, nothing but 15, only one constant. Everybody happy with that? All right, here we go. Distributing a negative two, negative six m cubed minus 10 m 
minus 12. Distributing a 3m, positive 6m cubed plus 9m squared plus 3m. Anybody have an issue with that? Now we combine terms. Negative 6m cubed. This one's nice. Positive 6m cubed. They do what? Cancel, Cancel out. It looks like I see 1m squared term. So I have 9m squared. Then I have negative 10m and positive 3m, which is what? Negative 7m. And then the only constant is negative 12. Issues? All right, here we go. Negative 21g squared plus 6g plus 3g squared plus 6g plus 3. Distributing a negative is a little bit harder. Plus 15g squared minus 9g. Now I'm just counting the squares. Negative 21, positive 3, and positive 15. Leaves me with negative 3g squared. 6g, 6g, negative 9g, positive 3g. And then of course, my only constant, three plus three. Any issues? Any issues? Good, that's important. All right, now we're solving the equations. Some of them are super easy, all right, because there's no square term. So distributing 32n plus 12 minus five equals 12n plus 16 plus one. Combining terms, 12 minus five, 32n plus seven equals 12n plus 17. Anybody have any problems there? Combining terms. Now variables on the left, numbers on the right. So I'm subtracting 12n, subtracting seven, so it looks to me like I have 20n equals 10. So now be real careful here. It's not two, it's what? N equals one half. 10 divided by 20 equals one half. Everybody good with that? All right, here we go. Question number 20. Distributing t squared plus 4t minus one equals t squared plus two t plus two. Anybody got a problem with that? So what's always gonna happen to the t squareds? All the square terms have to cancel. Next week, you're gonna learn how to solve one of those. Now we just, I'm just gonna rewrite it just so everybody sees. And then I'm gonna subtract two t and add one. So I end up with two T equals three. So T must have been a fraction three over two. Perfect. All right, let's go. We've got to keep moving. Come on, tell me quick if you got. I moved the variable from the left side to the right, or from the right to the left, and the constant from the left to the right, right? All right, here we go. Distributing 3x squared minus 21x plus 5 equals 
2x squared minus 8x plus x squared minus 8. So now, does everybody agree how many x squareds are on the left? How many? Three. Three. How many are on the right? Three. Does everybody see that? So they do what? Cancel. They cancel, which is what we knew had to happen. The squares term have to cancel. So now I'm just going to rewrite this. Negative 21x plus 5 equals negative 8x minus 8. Everybody good with that? So now adding 8x, adding 8x, subtracting 5, negative 13x equals negative 13. So x was what? 1. x is 1. All right. Now let's check out 22. Here we go. Again, Q times Q is Q squared. Q squared. First sm small smiley face, positive 6Q. Second smiley face, plus 5Q. And positive 6 times positive 5, positive 30. Everybody good on this? So combine terms, middle terms combine. Q squared plus 11Q plus 30. Everybody good? I'm, I'm, I'm trusting you're speaking up now. All right, I, I agree, this is easy. N times N, N squared, first smiley face negative 4n, second smiley face, negative 6n, negative 4 times negative 6, positive 24. What did I tell you about the middle terms? They are going to add together. n squared minus 10n plus 24. Everybody good on that? Yep. All right, let's keep it going. Same principle, 4b times b, 4b squared. First smiley face, positive 6b. Second smiley face, negative 16b. And then 6 times negative 4, negative 24. 4b squared, minus 10b minus 24. Now I want to I want to look I want everybody to look up for a second because every single year on I'm not no joke. I have two or three kids because we do multiplication. I want to show you what they did. They come up here and you see where it says um this problem right here. They multiply that. They literally multiply because they don't see the what? Addition. If you know you're kind of reckless, you make silly mistakes, you need to understand this is what? Addition. We're adding there. All right? If you're going to multiply, there will be what? No sign in between those parentheses. This has to be what? Multiplication has to be multiplication because there's no addition or subtraction sign between there. All right, so be careful tomorrow. Here we go, continuing. 6a times 7a, 42a squared. First set of parentheses, or I'm sorry, first smiley face, negative 21a, second smiley face, negative 24a, Negative three times negative four, positive 12. Combining again, the middle terms will combine. Take your time. 42a squared minus 45a plus 12. 
All right, let's look at 26. 3a times 2a is 6a squared. First smiley face, negative 2ab. Second smiley face, negative 3ab. And finally, negative b times negative b, positive b squared. Again, middle terms are there. 6a squared minus 5ab plus b squared. Okay, guys, what? No. Mm -mm. Descending order, a squared, then a to the first, then a to the zero. Uh, right? But if you write it out of order, do I care? No. no, you're just not listening if you do. All right, now here we go. A little bit harder, binomial times a trinomial. So stay with me. M times M squared. Notice M cubed. M times 4M, positive 4M squared. M times negative eight, negative eight M. Now I'm distributing the five. I had to distribute the M. Now I'm gonna distribute the five. Five times M squared. Notice where I'm putting it. That's a positive five M squared. Positive five times positive four, positive 20 M. Positive five times negative eight, negative 40. Combining terms, m cubed plus nine m squared plus 12 m minus 40. Go quick. Why do you say that for a bad case as an extra term? Yes, because as an extra term, right? I also showed you this m squared plus 4m minus 8m plus 5, and multiply it that way if you're confused. But again, you see my pattern, right? Distributing the m and then distributing the 5. You hear me? Yeah. That's how you do that. All right, let's knock out another one just to make sure. We got two more just to make sure. Distributing 2h, 2h times 2h squared, 4 almost, 4h cubed, 2h times 3h, positive 6h squared, 2h times 4, positive 8h. Distributing the 3, notice 6h squared, 3 times 3h, positive 9h and 3 times 4, positive 12. Here we go. 4h cubed plus 12h squared plus 17h plus 12. Quickly. Why would I get 12h squared because remember, you're adding, not multiplying. When you multiply, you add exponents. If I was saying what's 6h squared times h squared, it would be 6h to the fourth. But you're adding. Notice when I add, I do not change the variable. When I add, I do not change the variable. Does that help you? Yeah. All right. Y'all good now? Yeah. All right, here we go. One more of these, just for good measure. Here we go. 3x times 9x squared, 27x cubed. 3x times negative 12x, negative 36x squared. 3x times 4, positive 12x. Distributing a two, two times nine X squared, positive 18 X squared, two times negative 12, 
negative 24x and two times four positive eight. Anybody have any issues with that? Draw a line underneath it. Now you're just combining terms. So I have here, when I combine terms, I have 27x cubed minus 18x squared minus 12x plus eight. Notice I didn't change the signs when I add and subtract, all right? Now, yesterday we learned a pattern. If you did those problems yesterday on the worksheet, the pattern is no problem for you. If you forget, you're just gonna write X plus nine times X plus nine and doing it from there. Does everybody agree? But we didn't forget because we did a lot of practice yesterday. We know X plus nine squared is X squared. The middle term is always X times nine times two. That's gonna give me a positive 18X. And then I square nine, which is a positive 81. Everybody good? Molly, you still good? Jackson, you still focused? All right, here we go, 31, same principle. Three X squared, nine, x squared. Three times negative seven is negative 21. Negative 21 times two, negative 42x. And then I square the last term plus 49. Everybody good? All right, here we go. Now, x times x x squared. What happens to the middle term here? It always cancels. If it's the same exact, one plus, one minus, the middle term always cancels out. Of course, most kids forget, so they would just say positive 7x minus 7x. Those cancel. And then 7 times negative 7, negative 49. Like I said, if you did all those 100 problems yesterday, then you know that easily. Okay, now a little bit harder. Squaring 5x, 25x squared. 5x times negative 4y is negative 20xy. Then I multiply that by two. Middle term, negative 40xy. Then I square the last term plus 16y squared. Moving. Again, these middle terms are going to do what? Cancel out. 49x squared minus 9. Anybody have an issue with that? Okay. 35. 9g squared minus 81 h squared. 36, it's ugly. Square this, 9p to the sixth. Multiply these two together. 6p cubed m times two. Positive 12p cubed m squaring 2m plus 4m squared. All right, that was kind of hard. All right, put a star by that one. All right, review. Here we go, 37. Now this was on the last test. All right, this was on the last test. All right, so now we just got to review those rules. All right, I've got probably four minutes. Stay with me. 30x to the 13th, multiply numbers, add exponents. 38, multiply numbers, negative 12, add exponents, x to the 11th, y to the fourth, because there's a y one there. Multiply numbers, add exponents. Everybody good? 
39. Five to the third power, 125. Power to power, you always multiply. Multiply exponents. X to the 12th, Y to the 15th. 40, squaring first. So I write negative two X cubed Y, parentheses. 25, X to the fourth, Y to the eighth. Multiplying negative 50, adding exponents. X to the seventh, Y to the ninth. Any issues? Five squared is 25. Because there's no power here. Right? Yeah. All right, here we go. 42. Does the base change? No. Five, two times three times four. 24. Leave it like that. Five to the 24th power. I get 24. Power to power multiply. Two times three times four. Why does it multiply the power? Because it's a exponent. Oh, okay. Here we go. When you divide, what do you do to exponents? So that would just be three to the fourth. And I know everybody knows that's 81, but I really like three to the fourth as the answer. 43, reducing fractions, four eighths reduces to one half x over y to the fourth. No negative exponents are allowed in a solution. No negative exponents are allowed in a solution. Everybody's good with 43. All right, 44, when you have negatives, they change y to the fourth over x cubed. Negative exponents move. It's on the top, put it to the bottom, it's on the bottom, put it to the top. 45, adding exponents, x to the eighth power, four minus two plus six, x to the eighth. For, what? I added the exponents, just add, add. 46, does everybody see I have a negative exponent, right? So I flip it first. You may get three over two now squared. Each component is squared, nine over four. That could be done on a what, just in case you forget. Reducing, negative 24 divided by eight, negative three, X is cancel. Y to the eighth on the bottom because I dropped Y negative three to the bottom as Y to the third. Z to the third, any questions? All right, here we go. Anything to the zero power is one. Anything to the zero power is one. So all that is a trick question. All right, guys, head over to chapel. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna finish this up and then put it on. Uh, so tonight, if you want to listen to the rest of the solutions, you can. All right, quietly pick up and get out so I can finish. All right, for the next one, you reduce the fraction by six. That becomes two thirds. X to the negative three moves to the top as X cubed. So there's already X, X cubed. Y to the negative four goes down. Y to the negative two goes up. So I have Y to the fourth and Y squared. Now I have the fraction two thirds x to the fourth on top because we added these, subtracted y squared left on the bottom. All right, number 50, a little bit harder. We have to square and then cube and then combine. Three squared is nine. x squared y to the eighth. This is a one. Two cubed is eight. x to the twelfth, y to the eighteenth. Multiply numbers. 
72, add exponents, x to the 14, y to the 26. All right, simplify what's inside the parentheses first. So I have negative three, the x's cross out, y on the top, z to the fifth, raised to the negative two. Now, because everything is being raised to the negative two, we take the reciprocal. One over negative three, y, z to the fifth squared equals one over nine, y squared, z to the 10th. All right, now 52. These look a little bit harder than not. You're just finding the formula. V equals pi. Our radius is... 4yz squared times the height, which is 8xy. Square first, volume equals pi times 16y squared z squared times 8xy. Volume, now multiply numbers. Pi times 128xy cubed z squared. All right, so if you wanted to write it out, it could be written as 128 pi xy cubed z squared. Area of a triangle, one half base times height, a equals one half times seven x squared y cubed times the height three xy. Area equals 21 over two x cubed y to the fourth. Area of a rectangle is length times width. So area equals 5x cubed y to the sixth times 6x negative 2y. Multiply numbers, add exponents, and there's your area. The end. All right, guys, I appreciate it very much. I hope you have a great time studying.